What's your name? Donny McMonagall. Is there a problem, officer? We'll find out in a minute. Suck into this. I suck? Do not blow? You suck these new ones. Hurry up. <laughs> now, what did you say your name was again? Johnny McMonagall. <laughs> Hey, see you later, Orville. Um, just a cappuccino, please. To take away or sit in? Or to sit in, thanks. OK, right over here. <laughs> That's great, thanks. All right, I'm Jolly Boy John. Jolly Boy John holding a wee plank of wood is for real. Jolly Boy John sniffing a wee plank of wood is for real. I love sniffing planks. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly Boy John phoning up joiners to tell them their planks of wood are getting sniffed is for real. All right, mate, are you the joiner? You're getting your planks sniffed. I'm coming down there to sniff your planks. Man, your planks are getting stuffed, stupid joiner boy. <laughs> Jolly boy join wearing noise dash false teeth but earrings and inviting a squirrel and a bunny up his house to sniff some planks. A wig with him is for real. A squirrel and a bunny. A squirrel and a bunny. A squirrel and a bunny. Plank sniffers for life. A squirrel and a bunny. A squirrel and a bunny. Trevor McDonald, Moira Stewart, Peter Sisson. You say the news as it used want to be as for real as Jolly boy join. Get real. <laughs> I've got a new song for the day. Oh, here we go. What now? I see when other mobs score. We sing this. We don't like it when you score. Please don't do it anymore. <laughs> You're ruining a nice day. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible, Tommy. Angie's are bastards. <laughs> There are lovers, and there are lovers. And then there's me. <laughs> right, lads. What you want? What can Coke for me and a pint of cider for my bra? Your bra? No, no, my bra. My bra. No, your bra. Your bra? Did I say no, my bra? My bra? No, I says no, my bra. My bra. You say my bra's call me a bra? All right, bro. I'll deal with us. Now my bra thinks he's in bra's calling him a bra. I don't want rumours starting up. I get called a bra by my own bra. My bra wouldn't do that to me. I wouldn't do that to my bra. Well, it sounds like you're saying bra. Look, mate, it's simple, right? Mother, father, sister, bra. <laughs> my bra, mate. My bra. No, my bra. No, my bra. <laughs> Stop right there. Sake, man, 
Every time, you lie on that couch sleeping all night, and when I come in late and try and sneak past you, you always catch me. How'd you do that? Cos I'm the best hen. <laughs> Stop right there. <laughs> Stop right there. Pish! <laughs> Stop right there. Asshole! <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> Okay, nice easy one to start off the quiz for you today, George. It's the national anthem of Great Britain. What's the missing word? God save the... Eh, uh, God save the... Pandas. <laughs> no. Why would the national anthem be God save the pandas? Well, they're nearly extinct, aren't they? It's God save the Queen, George. Oh, I would never have got that. I'm no into football. Football? <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. It's the musical... Odd One Out. Oh, cool. Music's my thing. OK, who is the Odd One Out? John Lennon... Paul McCartney, George Harrison, or Charlie Watts? I assume you know who all these people are, George. Aye. John Lennon, Paul McCartney and George Harrison were in the Beatles. Charlie Watts is the drummer for the Rolling Stones. Exactly. So who's the odd one out? George Harrison. Wrong. Why would you say George Harrison? Well, he's the only one with the same name as me. The question isn't related to you, George, OK? It's the musical odd one out. The musical element is the key. Right, right, I've got you. Right, OK, so who's the odd one out? George Harrison. No! Aye, he's the only one that plays lead guitar. Look, they all play different instruments, George, OK? We're not going to have a wrong answer here. We're going to get this one right. Now, it's far more obvious than that. Mere obvious, right, OK. The most obvious, George, the most obvious. So, what's the answer? George Harrison. Because he's the only one whose initials follow each other in the alphabet. G H. No! Look, George, you practically told me what the answer was when you said who they were and what bands they were in. So it's got something to do with the Beatles and the Rolling Stones? Of course it is. Right, right, OK, well... Charlie Watts is a drummer for the Rolling Stones. And John Lennon and Paul McCartney, I think, wrote one of the Rolling Stones' first singles. So the odd one out is George Harrison. Does he didn't have anything to do with the Rolling Stones? No, George! No! The answer is not George Harrison. It's obvious. Three of them played in what band? The Beatles. And one of them played in what other band? The Rolling Stones. Oh. <laughs> what an idiot. Right. Right, mate, I've got you. I've got you now. I've got you. You're sure? <laughs> aye, aye. You're not going to say George Harrison again? <laughs> no. OK. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison and Charlie Watts. Finally, George, who's the odd one out? Ringo Starr. No! <laughs> and he's the one of the Beatles left out. He wasn't even an option. You've swapped Ringo Starr for Charlie Watts? Y yeah, so Charlie Watts is the odd one out? No. Charlie Watts is the odd one in. Charlie's in. Ringo's out. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello? Mate. Do you have any quizzes about fish suppers? <laughs> or any quizzes about sausage suppers? Can I say hello to my friends at the Society for Lopsided Glutes? <laughs> Mate. Wooden pallets! 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 Wooden pallets! Excuse me, do you sell wooden pallets? No. 
<laughs> I'm just banter. It's always sell. <laughs> what in palace? What else is there to know? Here's the shop. Here it is on a map. Here's your maw inside the shop. Hi, Lewis. So glad to see you finally made it. What happened? My dad said to give you this. <laughs> OK, Lewis, that's fine. Go and sit down. John, thanks for coming. Thanks for the email asking me to come. Thanks for reading the email so promptly. Oh, thanks for penciling me in so quickly. Thanks for making yourself available at such short notice. Oh, thanks for being so polite. Thanks for noticing. Would you like a cup of tea? Ah, uh, yes, thank you for asking. Oh, there you are now. Thanks for not being difficult and asking for a different drink. Thanks for having some tea at hand in spite of you preferring coffee. Thanks for noticing that coffee is my favourite drink. Oh, thanks for noticing how observant I am. Thanks. Thanks. I'll tell you what it is. It's a bit... Oh, before that, thanks for filling in this application form so tidily. Oh, thanks for issuing such a straightforward application form. Thanks for using block capitals and a black pen. Thanks for insisting on a black pen, my favourite colour of pen. <laughs> thanks for being so open about your favourite colours and beverages. Thanks for making me this lovely cup of tea. <laughs> thanks for not slurping your tea there, but silently sipping it. Thanks. 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 Anyway, this application form. Oh, by the way, thanks for the lovely pressed flowers between you. Oh, thanks for inspiring me to start my flower pressing hobby again. <sighs> thanks for reminding me of summer days at my grandfather's farm. Thanks for reminding me of my late grandmother, who I dearly loved. Thanks. Thanks. So here's the issue. At the end of your personal bio, you've written a word. One word, and it's the one word that we can't understand here in the office because the ink is smudged. Oh, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> it starts with a T. A T? Yes. And that is why I think it would be a perfect fit for your company and the type of people who work there, and then that word, T smudge S. T and an S at the end. Thanks for trying to work this out. Very helpful of you. Thanks. Ah, uh, nope, sorry, no idea what I was going on about there. Well, there's a theory in this office that it might be the word... Tossers. Tossers? <laughs> And that is why I think I might be a perfect fit for your company and the type of people who work there, tossers. Oh dear, 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 I suppose it must be that then, because I can't think what else it could possibly be. Well, in that case, your application is rejected. Thanks for coming. Thanks for asking me. Thanks. 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 Seriously, thanks. 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 Thank you. John. John. Thanks. Well, let me tell you this, I thank you. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. No balls. Balls. No balls. Balls. No balls. Balls. No balls. Balls. <laughs> and where do you think you're going? <laughs> and where do you think you're going? Ah, pish. <laughs> And where do you think you're going? How do you always know? Because I'm the best, then. The best.
The University of Burniston presents Snide Loops 101, a beginner's guide to pulling snidey faces. Number one. What? <laughs> Number two. I write. <laughs> Number three. Check the nick. <laughs> Number four. You're having your 21st at the bowling club. <laughs> Number five. Who's this fanny wearing the Adidas 2 stripe? Coming to a cinema this fall. Open your heart to cinema's hottest new hunky star. I've never dated a Scotsman before. Are you as wild and crazy as people say? Oh, there's nothing so wild and crazy as the Scottish. Who are you talking that for? <laughs> Sorry, who are you? Well, I'm just a real guy, mate. Just a real guy for Scotland. The question is, who are you, mate? Where are you for? I'm from Scotland. Scotland? <laughs> who says Scotland like that, mate? I'll tell you who. Scottish actors have slagged away to Hollywood and fannies. How do you not just say Scotland like a real guy? Now, like your dad, your uncle would say it. Scotland. 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 Need the sound in there, mate. Not even a t sound in there, just an Scotland. Look, buddy, we're trying to have a romantic dinner here. <laughs> buddy. Buddy, mate. Who says buddy in Scotland? Why can't you not call guys things that real guys call guys? You now, things like mucker, mate, Jim, chief, pal, big and wee and just things like your dad, your uncle would call your uncle or dad. Things <laughs> like, you yeah, mucker, you got it a Scotland game tonight? No. No, 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 no. I'm going to Hollywood so that I can say Scotland like this. Scotland. And call a real guy. Buddy. What do you want for your dinner? I'll have the chicken. I'll have the tuna. Tuna? Tuna, me! Tuna! Ch 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 tuna! What is it we assholes in a letter T? Scottish guys, mate. Real guys, we pronounce that T. We are ch. Hey, one hen, one you be a real guy, cos this guy is a cunch. Your guy takes Manhattan. <laughs> Here, Emma. Come and see this daughter. <laughs> when you're that out here, you're stoting like that. There's nothing will stop you. I don't know. What speed do you think he's going? Mmm, about three mile an hour. That's what I thought. For my birthday. Got a celebrity voice on it? No. Came with my dad's voice on it. <laughs> Your dad's voice? You never think of getting inside of this bloody motor a clean son. <laughs> <laughs> left, 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 left! <laughs> I said left for fuck's sake, you deep. I was past the turn before he said it. <sighs> so I fucking drove myself. Burly about. <laughs> That's pretty good. That sounds just like him. You know a fan of indicators, Derek? These wee flashing lights that let other drivers know what manoeuvres you're planning. <laughs> that guy, just go straight on. Whenever you're ready, switch that indicator off. It's no big deal. It's only the language of the road that the rest of us all use. <laughs> it's no Brands Hatch, son. I wasn't going fast. Hey, Paul, I'll just walk. 
All we said at once and cremated, but no right now in some fireball accident you've caused with your horrendous driving. I will walk in. Left, 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 left! Oh, you missed it again! You need to give me a bit of warning. Is this a prison ship we're on? No. And why are you right off that guy's ass? <laughs> you drive. Oh, what have I said now? Honestly, you're like a bloody wallflower. I'll say what I want about your driving, right? You know why? Because you're 35 year old and you're still on my insurance. Your mum only let me take you off it. You're on my rescue recovery, I know. Ten you're out the house and you're still cost me a fortune. Turn left! <laughs> a tweet here. Just tell my followers what's happening. Did you just say followers? <laughs> Scott, mate, the only people that follow you are investigators for the social. <laughs> well, mate, I've got 207 followers on this now, and now they're all updated with my gossip. Oh, what gossip? What did you just tweet them? I just tweeted, that's Peter coming in. That must have them gripped, huh? I mean, that revelation must really have them on the edge of their seat. If they're allowed seats in the mental hospital where all your <laughs> followers must live. Well, mate, at Cara20 just tweeted back at me, is Peter as cute as you are? You're cute. <laughs> Did she get her guide dog to tweet that for her? It's just a bit of flirting, all right? I flirt with all my followers. Mate, gonna stop saying followers, right? You think you're some kind of inspirational leader or something? What are you doing? Just taking a photo for Facebook, man. Eh, uh, why? No, well, cos this is happening, isn't it? This is something that's happening, so I want to put it on my timeline so I can look at it. <laughs> Scott, mate. I come out here every single day. We live this miserable day together every single day. Who could possibly want to see photos yet? Your doctor, when you try to get a prescription for antidepressants. Hey, listen, mate, I didn't want to go here, but... Want to stop being such a Luddite? Such a what, mate? A Luddite, mate. You're scared of technology. You're not engaging with any of it, mate. I says to wee Barry the other day, I was like, ah, see, Peter, he's not across any of these new technologies. He's not sharing content the way the rest of us are. What? See, me and wee Barry, Peter. We're frictionlessly sharing playlists and other stuff we've curated all the time, man. Even your mods started live streaming now. Everybody's doing it. You're getting left behind, mate. Well, you know what, Scott? I'd rather be a Luddite than a Fuddite. <laughs> I'd rather be a Luddite than a Fuddite. That's a belter. <laughs> yes. Five retweets already, man. <laughs> There are bedroom gymnasts, and there are bedroom gymnasts. And then there's me.
<laughs> hey, man. Welcome to look good for the lassies, but feel like a dickhead. How can I help you? Well, I'm looking for some clays that would make me feel like lassies would maybe fancy me. But at the same time, can I make me feel like a total dickhead? You know, you've come to the right place. <laughs> what do you think I need? I'll come have a look at our mannequins. <laughs> so, what one of these mannequins do you most feel like hooking in the jaw? <laughs> well, the one in the middle looks like the biggest arsehole, you know what I mean, with his wee man bag and his wee braces and all that, but having said that, he probably has zero problems getting his hole. Well, that's the outfit for you. Let's go try some of these clothes on. Uh, I don't know, man. I kinda hate myself, you know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, if I'm a lassie, I'm probably firing right into this Mumford and Sons looking fanny here, but if I saw myself walking into a Burmeston boozer, I'd probably want to tow my own boz. I think you look great. You look like a total dickhead. And my sister would be aware yet. I feel like knocking your spark out. You look fantastic. All right, man, I'll take them. Four, seven, five, eight. <laughs> Right, so give me a wee ring sometime and we'll sort something out. Sounds great. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> nice hat, you fanny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> At 10 tomorrow night, the spotlight falls on Rob Brydon. His chat show's back for a new series. And guests include Michael McIntyre. Newsnight on the way in a moment, asking tonight, what is the Olympic legacy?